Hey everybody, JJ here. Um, bringing you a StarCraft 2 commentary. I tried doing videos earlier, but each video I kept getting interrupted by my little brother. So, I'm gonna bring you another one here. Uh, I'm just gonna go by pretty fast because I don't want to make this too... I don't want to make too many videos. Um, it's me, Game Geek versus Giddy. It's a TVZ, and this was a pretty epic game, I gotta say. So, as you notice, I was gonna say here, good luck, have fun, I bet you will win. Because I just suck at this game. Um, this is one thing that I could never understand. Is why I have things that all go the exact same thing. I don't even use that. So I'm scouting, trying to find where he is. Is going on. He has a much higher income than I do. Still getting more crap. Not much happens for a little while, so I'm just gonna speed this up even more. We're having a little war there. My SCV versus his. Whatchamacallit's. Getting even more income here. I got. I'm getting my barracks down here. That's his thing. He's getting a queen apparently. And one thing that I noticed about this guy is that he loves his zerglings. And one thing that I noticed about myself is I hate armies. Look back at the income here. His is well over mine. Seven more harvesters than I do. Um, I don't know what that means. If if any of you know what EPM means, can you please let me know? Um, he's already getting his first upgrade and some speedlings. He already has a few zerglings there. Here comes 20 more, or 10 more, I don't know how many that was. A few more. He's mutating them into banelings. Um, I don't really use marauders. I think the whole game I only had 5 marauders. I put down my expansion here. And I don't believe he expands until late, late in the game. One of my favorite things about Terran is the tanks. And for some reason I thought that you had to get this before you could get tanks at first. And then I realized how stupid I was. So I got myself some tanks. And then he has a nice sizable army already. More Zerglings coming. Um, getting the upgrade for the Banelings. Even more Zerglings coming. And then five, five uh, marines, five marauders, two marines in the bunker, two tanks. There should be one more coming. And then here comes his army. And he was not being too smart. I managed to take out a bunch of his crap. I'll just throw it down here. I was trying to be smart, bring these into my base, and I closed that way too soon. Um, but that was actually a good idea, I think, because those SCVs saved this whole area right here, except for these two things. 
So nothing really happens for a little while. I go back to rebuild my wall. He comes again with another like 8,000 zerglings. Even more zerglings, holy crap. And then I built a star part down here. I'm planning on getting Vikings going back here and smacking him from the back. Uh, we go to the income. Again, he has way more income than I do. I have about eight harvesters. I got myself. I sh I did the wow. My income shot right up because of the mules. I'm guessing. Um, just look at this. Don't know what it means till. Uh, units. So he has fifty six zerglings. Um, and. Two queens, those are the two only things that you can really do stuff with. And I have my beasting tanks, seven marines. Um. Oh, yeah. I thought this was really crafty of him. He took his overlord and he put uh, Nidus Worm right there. Um, I missed that because I'm going by way too fast. And I was pretty sure that he was gonna that he's gonna that, uh, that he was gonna try and send this army at me right here. Now that right there, that would have killed me. So yeah, not much happens for a little bit. You know, I'm not gonna talk for a second. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just talking to some people on MSN because I'm cool like that. Um, speed this up a little bit. Oh, what's the units right now? Oh, even more Zerglings because he really likes Zerglings. Um, I don't really use Reapers either. I think the whole game I made like five or more than that. I gave up on the Marauders. But I didn't give up on my tanks. Oh, yeah, I, I took out one of his overlords. I didn't even realize that that was happening. I have a bunker there for scouting. I bring this down, Tad. Yeah, so I sent my, uh, my, what, what are they called? Vikings. Um, and I was going to assault them from the back there. I was going to send this to the front. And uh, apparently he expanded. He must have been out of minerals up here. So he expanded up here. Connected it with a nidus worm, apparently. Does creep benefit you in any way? It's another question I want to know. Like, if you're building something on creep, like a hatchery, does it increase the build time, or am I just stupid like that? Um. So yeah. You know, I'm just checking the time. Okay, we should be able to finish this. Speed this up a little bit more. There's my army. Nice. And then I go and send it. I built some hel Helians. Helians. Helian. Oh my god. Helians. He needs upgrading his armor. On his ground units, apparently. I never upgrade in my games either. Let's bring that down, Tad. 
I was hoping that I could do some damage with this. And I set my big army here, big ish, to their base. Aliens get their way faster than everything else. And I didn't realize that he had 118 Zerglings just sitting there, ready to play. And two Infestors. And two Queens. So, and at the same time, he decided that he wanted to attack me. So let's just see how this turned out. I should have backed out, but I didn't. No matter how much I love my tanks, I just had to leave them there. Let them suffer. So after that, I took my Vikings and I put them down. And then I completely forgot about them. I didn't realize that they were getting swarmed until it was too late. Literally, just as he was sending his army, I let go, like I didn't exactly at the same time there. I didn't realize that they are getting known until later. So, I have no army. I have three Vikings left, but I ended up bringing it back there and completely forgetting about for the rest of the game. And then I started started building some building? Building some Hellions. <laughs> Again, not much happens except for the fact that he's building five ultralisks. I didn't realize he's building that much when it happened. And 30 Zerglings. Now, this is going to hurt. Did that one live? I don't know that. Yeah, so, got some 5 Ultralisks. Whoa. 5 Ultralisks, 68 Zerglings. Four infestors that he didn't even use at all, and one queen I think he is also sending at me. No, he left that behind. Uh, he also built another hatchery in his base, so let's bring this down again. And this is all I have. Is... One, two, three, four, five... Fail. Five hel hellions. Um, one tank. Now let's just see what happens after this. Let yeah. me destroy that and hurry up. And I thought I was done for but not until I really not until what he was doing here I had a good placement in my Hillians but he wasn't forced attacking my base at all he was just sitting there all group okay fine whatever he was just sitting there all grouped up and whoa I hope that didn't screw up the video though <laughs> yeah, he was just sitting there Taking it like a man. And... Oh crap, I'm gonna stop the video here. Uh... On to the next.